Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create custom attributes in Okta, right? So you might have seen custom attribute creation in Microsoft Enter ID as well as uh, on-premises AD as well as in the other identity and access management solutions. But Okta is also similar platform, uh, which is identity and access management provider or solution we can say, right? And we can create custom attributes. Now the next question is why we wanted to create custom attributes. So custom attributes are those attributes where or which can be used for custom mapping with the different applications, right? So different applications, each application has its different attributes or different capacities to map and synchronize between identity solutions to the applications and vice versa. So there are different scenarios where we wanted to map those. So for example, we have an HR system called Workday or maybe a success factor, right? Or maybe SAP success factor. And they're not only these two, but there are many other like ADP and all other HR systems. Also, there are other different third-party systems which have their different own attributes that they are supporting for uh, user identity synchronization, uh, which helps us to uh, synchronize the identities from identity and access management solution to the application and vice versa. And that really helps us to streamline the user experience as well as make sure user has the appropriate access on the applications by using uh, implementing or deploying single sign-on as well as scheme integration. So scheme is nothing but a uh, implementing the systems cross connection between one to another in order to provision user identities from one to another and vice versa. And then we can implement the single sign-on for better user experience and improvement on users accessibility and improvement. Right. So now we have seen that or we talked about that, but now let's go back to the custom attributes, right? So custom attributes are those which really needs to be created in order to provide additional and custom experience for users on different systems. It is not always the same for each system. Instead, each system has their own attributes and own capacities to uh, provide the experience and provide their capabilities right and that is why systems systems needs to be mapped with the right set of attributes right and that is when the custom attributes comes in right so custom attributes would be used and created in the identity solutions and then those would be mapped with the respective system wherever we wanted to target right so i'm going to show you how we can create that in the octa admin portal directly and those can be used uh, with those systems. So currently, or for now, I'm just going to show you how to create for users as well as for groups, right? And then the integration is the different part, but definitely uh, that would be in another uh, separate video. But for now, I'm going to show you how we can create those one. So let's head over to this portal and then I'll show you how we can do that. So here you can see the Okta admin portal, right? And from here, I'm logged into the portal directly. And you can see that you need to go to the directory here and then click on profile editor. And pro from po profile editor, you need to come back or scroll down a bit here. So you will see all the different options like all Okta apps, directories and identity providers. So these are the different categories we can say or call out and each category has or for each category we can create different attributes right and those attributes can be used for different purposes or use cases similarly we can also create for groups so to create for the groups we need to get into this group here octa group which is a default one and then we can add additional attribute from here right so i'll show you it for individual user accounts first and then I'll go to the users or the group section. So for now, let's say I'm going to create Okta user type here. Maybe I wanted to create a users, user country. 
राइट एंड आई विल दिस इज द डिस्प्ले नेम सो आई कैन गिव द सेम नेम बट हियर इट शुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस और मे बी we can put underscore here and click on save so now you can see that this user default is going to be the by default attribute and then this is the custom attribute that i have created so now as soon as i create or add it here this is going to be added and from here i can simply add it right so now you can see that this attribute is created for the under for the user and that should be shown up here okay this is for user i think i just clicked on user one let's go back one step all right so has the user country attribute right click on it so once it is open for us you can see the variable name and then we can add that attribute to this list so that that can be used for any customization with applications wherever that application needs a custom attributes to be synchronized particular properties or particular attributes from identity solutions to the users or that particular system right so to add that one that should be shown up here right and same attribute can be added here but for now we have created that one here you can see it right and to add it we need to click on this add button and we need to select the right set of data type so that we can add and user country is the string attribute so i'm just going to select that one also there are different options which we can uh, make the changes right including attribute required uh, user permissions hide read only read write or maybe yeah so these are the different permissions let's say go ahead and select read write permission because we wanted to use this in a particular system and we were we wanted to do that so attribute length we can define that length here between maybe uh, minimum 6 to maximum maybe 40 because 40 is the highest length that we can we can set up but maybe we can set it up up to 30 there could be a country which has a 30 characters in its name so that is why we can set it up so this is depend on the requirement this is not something which is mandatory but we can define it here and then we can define between or maybe the different uh, character different different operators here right and then we can define the description of this and there is enum which is define enumerated list of values so this is not mandatory but we can also define that value to so attribute members display name and value and add members so that way we can do that always that is not required but we can define that as as required so we are good here and we can go ahead and click on save button so once is once we save it this attribute is added here as a custom attribute you can see it this is the variable name the data type is string and the type attribute type is custom here is the edit button for us in case we wanted to change anything in this attribute and then we can go ahead and do that if we don't want it, this attribute we can simply click on this cross button which is a discard button or delete button you can say and this attribute will be deleted directly so going forward or once we cross this out this will be deleted and we don't or we don't see that or we will not be using it anymore so this was the <clears throat> one way for user attributes right and if in case we don't want to keep this attribute at all we can delete this from here directly as well as we have option to edit from here as well right so this way we can make the changes in the attribute <coughs> uh, or delete it as as we wanted to so now let's go back to the group section and see how we can create <coughs> create attribute for groups and then how we can add that under, under the custom field 
So now uh, let's go ahead and create one attribute. So I'm going to add maybe Boolean. Uh, let's say office location. And I will select or give it a name. So now we have given this data type as a Boolean office location is equal to true or false, then we can use that attribute for different uh, changes or configurations while making that change with the respective applications, right? So I'm just giving a random name or variable here. We can give the description here as well. And we can decide whether attribute is required or not. And then also there is a restrictions value must be unique for each group. So we can enforce that as well. Perfect. So this is created here, you can see. And if I click on custom attributes here, we can see that as well here, right? So this way we can add different attributes and those attributes can be used. Similarly, I had created group number before and you can see that variable name, then data type and the custom attribute type, right? So this is really helpful when we are going to make any changes or maybe these attributes would be used for different configurations of the systems. So yeah, that is all for this video. I wanted to show you how we can create those custom attributes in Okta for users and for groups uh, under the profile editor. And that is really helpful and important to create and use that appropriately and effectively with the different systems, right? So yeah, that's all. Hope you like it. Please do like, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to watch other videos in the Okta series that I have created. And also there would be more videos coming up in the next few weeks. And then yeah, definitely you can go through all the videos and don't forget to like, like, share and subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends, colleagues and whoever needs to see and watch. Yep, and that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.